Can you hear me, guys? We can hear you. Fantastic. Can you hear us? I can definitely hear you, yeah. I said Venezuelan ladies of the evening, and there you appear. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> now, can the stream hear us? That's the most important thing. <laughs> yep. Uh, Falcon saying, and we All can good. hear the team as well. That's brilliant. So that's that's good, a, that's good. a fantastic start. So the music was good. We could hear the voice, and now we can hear the team as well. So fantastic. So thanks for waiting around, guys. We are back here on the first of October, twenty twenty three, for another Raptorium weekly update stream. Uh, we've got a bit more things to talk about today due to the last stream having a few audio issues. Uh, so uh, yeah. So how are we all? Yeah, doing well, yourself? Very well. good, thank you. Oh, I need to introduce you, don't I? Here we have uh, David Owen Morris, also known as Big Piggy, who is the co-founder of Raptorium. Uh, to my, well, it's to your right, I suppose. Uh, we have Alejandro, who is the head of Spanish marketing. Uh, bottom left, we have... Uh, uh, Edwin Antonas, also known as the Dirtiest Miner, uh, who is the king of shitcoins. Uh, below me, we have the Shermanator, who is the head of the Discord moderation. And to the bottom right of me, we have uh, Charlie, also known as Lawn Jerry. Is that right, Charlie? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, with no camera. So... Uh, I think he had to run and take care of a little one. All right, fair enough. Okay. Uh, uh, so I suppose we'll get started then. Uh, Piggy, have you got the sheet up and running? Yeah. Have I got a sheet up and running? Um. Oh, that sheet. Yeah. All right. Um. Brilliant. Okay, so um. We've been doing a lot more work uh, with the Marketplace team and we've got some really nice things that are being built uh, to complement that ecosystem that we're sort of building uh, ready for mainnet. We are thinking of uh, doing a little bit of community testing very, very soon uh, mm -hmm. uh, on one aspect of it. So we are just waiting on Zlatter for to to come back with some uh, finished screens on that, and then we might deploy that so you can test it out. Um, Piggy. Oh yeah. Um, Nando's been pushing a lot of code. Uh, he's fixed future unique asset transactions. A lot of the smaller UI bugs are fixed now as well. Um, ProTX registers submit. I'm not quite sure what was supposed to be wrong with that. Oh, uh, it just wouldn't work for creating new nodes. It had to be done a different way. Ah, oh, right. Ah, yeah, yeah, it had to be used for the yeah, yeah. smart node. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Asset detail pop-up is now selectable. Yeah, that was one of the UI bugs we had. And there are now mempool checks on create asset. Otherwise, you could potentially overfill the mempool with stale transactions. Um, so, yeah, quite a bit of stuff has been going on. Um, pre is reviewed a fair bit of that. We've still got a few more things to come, but uh, there's solid, steady and solid progress. Who has the angry poodle? Oh, that's me. Neighbor. Oh, okay. Who's your neighbor? Oh. <laughs> well, at least it's yeah. not a leaf blower. Oh, well. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, <laughs> give it time. Uh, yeah. Anything else to say? Piggy on that. Um, no, uh, I, I've got about the IQ of a boiled potato right now. So <laughs> <laughs> you seem pretty active. I was, I was quite impressed with your uh, Telegram performance. Just uh, yeah, yeah, but I mean, it was, that was channeling the spirit of sad guru <laughs> and attempting to spread philosophy and wisdom. Well, yeah, 
and that kind of stuff through the power and magic of using your voice and changing the intonation a bit. Okay. Noted. Uh, Sherm, uh, Wiz has uh, got some updates to the bot. Do you want to talk about those? With the... Uh... So he's got Wiz vi video AI now, which is in there. Well, the deform, like, so you have like animated type uh, images. So it kind of transforms into other images. So it kind of mm -hmm. gives motion to the images and kind of deforms into new images from the original image. And obviously incorporating that into the, uh, into the bot and adding buttons and more functionality and stuff to that as well, making it easier for everybody. Awesome stuff. So if you want to go and check that out, what do they need to do? Because people were trying oh, to cut corners the other day. Yeah, they're trying to cut corners, trying to get around the uh, fact that you need to be in the realm of the Gigatoshis to access the bot. Uh, once you're in the realm, you can ask uh, one of the moderators for the artist role, and you'll have access to the bot and be able to use it. And to get into the realm, uh, you need to donate at least one RTM, basically with for 11 trivias to level up to, to enter into the realm do you know what you Sherm, can, uh, do you know what Sherm? yeah i meant to tell you but what i can do is i can program it so uh when anyone's in the realm then they get all the extra roles that they need already so, oh know, automatically that, yeah, that's a good yeah, idea yeah yeah i'll be able to do yeah. that uh yeah carry on sorry sorry for putting in no, no that's good yes so uh yeah, then once you're in the realm you have access to that some secret channels and obviously there's all the perks of being in the realm as well it's, bonus reigns and early access to things so you know come up, enter the realm be on the gigatoshi awesome stuff uh piggy i post that old content in there from time to time in case anybody's interested <laughs> if it'll make more people join <laughs> Wait, the realm uh, i'm happy to take one for the team and <laughs> put picks and what else can we come to think of well we're doing little fingers these days as well a little fingers, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's be the new trivia right. round, right? Yeah, we're moving from feet to fingers. Sort of, yeah, and sort of like for the whole like Doctor Evil thing there. <laughs> yeah. Who's Doctor Evil in this? Yeah, yeah, I I can see that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, Piggy, uh, Explorer update coming. Well, yeah, there um quite a few things coming to that um it, it's getting the first round of the um, asset updates now so you can search assets list them uh, list the addresses holding them that kind of thing it's going to be a little bit slow to start with but uh, once we have a full asset index in there and once we have um What's it called? IPFS loading software in there as well. You'll be able to view content hosted on IPFS if something is attached from IPFS as metadata to an asset. Basically, your JPEGs for your NFTs. Yeah. Awesome. That, that, that'd be great. I've just noticed. We've gone over a hundred viewers, like concurrent, over. concurrently. Usually, we only we only go maximum of thirty during the live due uh, to the time. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. We we're being bodied or something, or it was there was a fake I would say me earlier, fast. and they they want to see if I'm really still here. <laughs> uh, I we're, don't know. We're They're working. You rugged. After yeah, the whole Coinex fiasco. <laughs> no, no, we're we're at NFT project now. <laughs> uh, we've been working on uh, on some promo videos uh, with KGM, uh, who is uh, the Finnish Forest Mafia guy, um, and uh, he's got a a girl he works with. Is that his, is that his girlfriend? I think just friend. Just the friend. Uh, is it his girl? I do believe that 
a lady he works with. Is oh, is it a lady? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, at the, the start of the stream, the, the girl who was dancing was part part of that. We're going to have a lot lot more different ones. Uh, and also, he might be working on the uh, on the main assets release video. Uh, yeah, but maybe we might not have uh, girls in that one, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe one or two. What's uh, wrong with girls? I've never Everybody said there's anything likes. wrong with it. Are you I mean, going woke on us now? I, I ain't going woke on you. We're not throwing men in there, are we? All right. Uh, Piggy, uh, what else we got with the with the code? Or do you, or well, do we've got uh, quite a few things. Um, there's something like a BIP9 fork for the nodes on the way as well um that'll be a first so that we can basically soft fork on on two levels first soft fork proof of work blocks and then at a slightly later date uh, a few days after a bip9 soft fork passes then uh, we can soft fork on the node level as well so the upgrades and updates to the network layer get sort of a smoother transitioning instead of a lot of people getting pose banned because they've been lazy about updating nodes which will be a good thing that's going to be a first in the space that's going to be interesting to see fun to roll out uh dirty miner uh i'm hearing casper miners now overclockable yeah uh you can go up to like 160 giga hash instead of the base 100. uh they also came out with like some firmware upgrades uh for stability uh but i think there's like levels of oc too and if you like fuck up and you don't have the appropriate charger for it or ac adapter for it uh you just reset it with like the the button on the actual miner so you don't have to like mess with more firmware it'll just default go back to the factory default settings and what's all the beef yeah, it... at the moment between the all the all the streamers and that uh, uh, about all these overclocks i mean i saw son of a tech who was really uh <laughs> negative about the whole situation uh what's going on with that oh i don't know i think uh, i think at one point he was like really into caspa and then all of a sudden he just had a change of heart what do you think he sold his back yeah. probably <laughs> but i don't know uh, i'm not sure about that drama i just know that uh some people were getting banned from the discord for uh selling what banned from casper for selling yeah <laughs> okay selling uh like firmware and hardware and oh shit. for selling firmware right and hardware yeah Oh, also bit streams and modified bit streams and selling each other's bit streams, and reselling each other's bit streams, and mm, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's some uh, fun stuff over there. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's yeah. I, I'm not gonna. It's a can of worms. I'm not gonna even bother with commenting on it. Um. Oh yeah, there was a fake me around. Um, if for some reason someone from the staff DMs you, go to the server user list, open the conversation from there, see if it takes you to the same conversation. I only That's DM basically, you from the yeah. Ah, no. Last time you DM'd me, you told me you were worried about where I was going to invite you next. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. It, it, it is what it is. Um, I mean, that kind of stuff needs to be really careful with it because a lot of assholes will also try to combine it with something like um, 
On Friday, we had Discord fucking up again. And I mean really fucking fucking up. Because they botched an Electron um, upgrade. And it broke Cloudflare. And it broke almost all of their other transport layer security. But it wasn't just a Discord issue. It was an issue for all... Electron based tech, which includes Brave, Chrome, Chromium, Edge, all Chrome derived browsers. Um, funny how people don't want to publicize that that's what's actually been hacked. Uh, we've got a link up somewhere, or I can put one up. If anybody wants to track what's been patched and what hasn't been patched, a lot of stuff has been patched, so update your stuff. Basically, they would make a web P or web, what's it called the other one? G, the web video. Uh, one is just web images, the other one is web video, and um, that would cause an overflow, giving them full access to your system as a verified user. I help clean up in my day job a couple of exploited machines and they got thoroughly exploited. I mean really thoroughly. First a little sniffer package to see if the machine is interesting. Oh, the machine is interesting. Boom, here's an attack package that kills your antivirus, that kills your malware detection, that kills your updates. You're now updating from our servers, not from Windows. <laughs> and they were successfully doing this on Linux machines as well. Because the privilege escalation was that high. And if you check up and read up on the exploit, it was a CVE level 10. And that's rare. That's very, very rare. That's whoever disclosed that to them. Or if it wasn't discovered, but if um, whoever disclosed that to them, they would have gone all the way to the top on the bounty scale and rung all the multipliers at the same time. It, it doesn't get any worse than that. Because they can install software, don't need to ask permissions, there's no detection, they're already a privileged user, um, and they can kill your AV and other security precautions. And there's no need uh, for them to go much beyond adding a dash Y to a command string. Which is, yeah, <laughs> bad. Gary. Yeah, that dash Y just means yes. So um, one thing that is going to be happening on the Discord that some of you are going to whinge about is we are going to be dropping all file uploads because there's not really any need for them. If you really want to entertain everybody with your memes, you can find something better to do. Uh, he, he just upset forehead of penis. Yeah, I don't <laughs> really care. But, but there's something that has to be think, uploaded he, or something. You know, he thinks he's an echidna. Do you know what animal he has derived that name from? No. Well, so definitely a trivia question. Was... Oh, God. Okay. Um, it's like a hedgehog, Just say but it's put essentially, it in put it in it's essentially got a duck's mouth. Uh, it's it and the duck-billed platypus are the only two mammals that lay eggs. And yes, mammals that lay eggs and the babies drink milk from the mummy after coming out of the egg. Really weird stuff. 
Yeah, let's move along. Let's move along. <laughs> I feel like we're in trivia right now. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, the other day we tested out a completely ridiculous trivia night where we had 41 questions uh, because we were seeing... Which is a mistake. Many... Why not 42? 41. Uh, we, it was originally 40, but then I added one on the end. Uh, but uh, 42 is so much more meaningful. That's 420. 20, no, 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 42. No, no. 42, the meaning of life, the universe, and everything. Well, anyway, it was 41. Right. And, uh, Fake nerd, you don't even know Douglas Adams. I don't, I don't care about Douglas Adams, mate. No Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy for obviously you? I'm, yes, oh, obviously I've heard mate. of that, yeah. So long and thanks for all the fish, mate. All right, well, we might do a 42 trivia uh, next time. Uh, where, the, where the dolphins and all of the other cetaceans, they're leaving Earth and they're being... And uh, Dirk Gently is standing there watching them flying up, getting beamed up and talking to these at the same time. But anyway, yeah. yeah so we I'm did severely sleep deprived. I haven't had... Caffeine. Sixty nine Sherman bags win. I'm 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 thinking that Piggy's yeah. Piggy's better when he's sleep deprived anyway. <laughs> it's, it's pretty <laughs> damn good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Piggy, what's <laughs> what's Nando been secretly up to? Oh that. Um Well, uh I'm not gonna tell you about that because then I'd have to well, yeah. Well, um, I've, I've had permission from the Nando man himself. But I'm, oh, I'm not gonna... no, 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 no. Not for, not for the really dark stuff. That's <laughs> not been brought up anywhere yet. Okay. No, no, no. I mean, all uh, I know about Nando is he, he's into his tr tractors. Trust, trustless shared nodes um, is on the way. Um, so you can basically set up a collateral transaction inside your own wallet and then delegate the the power of that to another address in some form. The exact mechanism, we've got to do some testing before we decide on the exact mechanism because there are different ways verification can potentially mess with it slightly. The way that Nando showed me was the fact that you could lock smaller amounts in everyone's wallet that are involved into that yeah. node which is pretty cool stuff and you could also lock yeah. them as a, like a minimum of like 30 days uh so it just saves them having uh, having an unstable node um you know yeah. what i mean I thought yeah that but really that's cool one of the other reasons why we've put time lock transactions in there yeah but he's using the Bitcoin time locks, isn't he, at the moment? Not necessarily RTM-based time locks, as far as he, I understand it. Uh, uh, but H, no, no, I believe that's been, we've moved past that, because HTLCs, you can just putz with the wallet and and move the funds anyway. Yeah. I think one um, of... Or, well, what you can do is you can make a transaction. Like on your own local system, you set on your own local system for it to meet the conditions for you to be able to move the funds. And then you take that signed transaction and you move it to another system and broadcast it there. And it will validate with the right keys. Okay. Uh, so yeah, a lot of testing's been going on with that. Um, cool thing about that is um, uh, the the initial node de deployer, uh, the person that creates the server, sets their uh, operator reward, and then uh, and then if that's so yeah, I mean it, it's once once it gets ironed out, it's going to be and if a that... big deal because it's not going to be the same as. There are several other coins that do different forms of delegation. Um, some of them do it well, some of them do it awfully. 
some of them do it easily, verifiably, and some of them use it as an obfuscation method, basically. Um, but they mainly do delegations of staking pools. There are a couple that are doing shared nodes as well, but they've got very complicated multi-sig procedures to the point where nobody's going to use it ever yeah, yeah. because it, it's so hard to use i think it would be good to 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 have like uh trustless peer-to-peer -peer node lists where you you could compete on the rewards of your node based on the operator reward so yeah. you'd show that and then you know you could be able to choose the right one uh nando was also talk, talking about uh actually branding the node with a name so you could say oh you know i'm on uh I'm on Piggy's node, or I'm on Sherm's yeah. node, you know? So that would be something that would be really cool, I think. And, uh, yeah, yeah I mean, I'm really excited for that. Um, as many of you have seen from our uh, recent announcement on Twitter, uh, we are now live on Komodo Wallet. Uh, that is with Android, iOS, and desktop versions. And... We also got we've also got both assets on there as well. That is mainnet UTXO Raptorium and also the Wrapped Raptorium as well, which is WRTM on the uh, BSC side of things. So big thanks to the Komodo team for integrating us uh, with the full protocol. Uh, we really do appreciate that, and uh, we look forward to more of a working relationship moving forward as well uh sherm we had a video from rabid about epics yeah he's got uh some hash rates with his new uh dual epic 7742 rig so if you haven't seen that you know check that out so now i think he's got a single uh epic rig 7742 and now a dual epic 7742 rig awesome stuff where can they go to where can they go and check that out uh, if you can go to uh, Rabbit's uh, YouTube channel, and uh, I think it's also in his Discord. If you go to his Discord and Rabbit's videos channel, you'll uh, be able to find it there as well. That's Rabbit Mining at YouTube. Right, yeah. Uh, Piggy, CoinX. Yeah. CoinX. CoinX back up and running again. And. I must say, I've been very happy with how they handled this whole thing. Uh, it was a difficult situation, but they went out really quickly and explained what had happened to some degree, the mildest possible degree, but um, took responsibility for it, owned the situation, and got things back up and rolling from there I, i'm pleased with it this is why we spent uh quite frankly very considerable amount of money on listing with them in the middle of then a raging bull market um but there is a solid group behind them it's not like they're an exchange backed by mainly their own asset or their own token or some kind of shit like that um they are backed by a very solid consortium that have a massive number of users in asia they have um the whole via group in the upstream and via group is probably effectively speaking at the moment the single largest mining pool for for everything <laughs> um for everything that's high enough up on the food chain so um i'm pleased with that we helped them out with contacting a few places where they didn't really have the the best connections and i've been quite busy with that but uh, it also shows where we were put on their priority list 
because they still have well over 280 other projects that haven't been brought online quite yet. Yeah. Uh, Crypto Smith, if you are watching, I'm going to start the Smith stream maybe 15 minutes later uh, because we had a lot to say on the weekly update due to us uh, having the issues last week. So 15 minutes later, start on that. And uh, now I'm, I'm gonna... actually awake today. What? So are you going to be on the Smith stream? Me? Uh, can I troll on there? I suppose so, yeah. Of course you can. Boobs? Or you could just go back to bed. Uh, no, there's no boobs on there. Uh, he's got children in the house, so... Uh... Oh. <laughs> Bloody hell. He can't hell. hear us. Yeah. There would be no crypto stream if his uh, people in this yeah, house could hear us. Yeah, they can't actually hear us, but they're filming and so on. Yeah, I think they watch. I think they watch it back. So <laughs> boobs is out of the yeah. equation, mate. Um, Damn it. Yeah, Charlie, how are you, Charlie? What's been going on? Uh yeah, you noticed my camera's been on and off. I've been, maybe you have. I've been bouncing back and forth to the house. Uh, my wife just messaged me on my phone saying, uh, "Bring the shop vacuum. We have a mess times two. So when you have four boys in the house and your wife messages you, bring the shop back fast, uh, you run. So I ran, <laughs> but I'm back. <laughs> but well, everything's been going pretty well. Had a couple of uh, Explorer hiccups to take care of. Um, no big deal. Was back up and running uh, pretty quick. Uh, we've had some bots hitting Explorer, kind of launching mini... Uh, mini dos on it so i've made some uh some firewall rules to block those uh overall it's uh, it's been pretty good pretty smooth not a lot to uh not a lot to add to it is there anything that you need to tell us about the upcoming uh servers or something uh yeah october 24 um a long ways away but it's possible at that point we have about 12 hours of um uh degraded performance on the explorer just because one of our providers is moving it's pretty crazy actually they're moving completely moving out of a data center in new jersey and they're moving all of their servers into buffalo into one of their other data centers and we're not talking a few hundred servers we're talking probably tens of thousands of servers so there's gonna be truckloads of servers physically going uh, from one data center to another and some of our servers are involved in that um, but uh, i have some workarounds for that so i mean the impact on our infrastructure should be pretty minimal I have time to prepare for it and uh, put some patches in place. So, uh, it should not be a big deal for us. Is there anything, uh, any updates on uh, Ghost Press or, or anything like that? Uh, Ghost Press is ready to go. Um, the only reason I haven't announced it to the public and you know any any big announcement on it is because I have not had time to put in place uh, some guides and some documentation and stuff on how it all works but the systems are ready everything's ready all the backup systems are ready if somebody wants to go order on ghost press you know it, it's ready to go um finally <laughs> yeah, i'm just missing the documentation to kind of onboard people and explain some of the features we have that nobody else has such as um the RAS, Raptorium Authentication System, et cetera. Um, so it's just missing my time to make the documentation and the videos and stuff for that before actually put the announcement out there, but it's ready to go. So pretty awesome happy stuff, that. man. Alejandro, how are you? What is going on in the world of Spanish Raptorium? How are you doing guys? Um, I hope you hear me well. Yeah, um, very good. <laughs> it's a little complicated with sometimes with the microphones and things. Uh, we are fine. Uh, today I released a video about um, how to use Android uh, Wallet, uh, Komodo Android Wallet. I hope the community use it and, and like the way Komodo works. Um, yeah, uh, 
the rest of that, everything is fine on the community. Um, we we are close to move our um, page to uh, Charlie's uh, Ghost Press. Uh, he talked to Raul. Raul say he's going to move the site to, to Ghost Press. So uh, we are almost going to do it. We'll take a couple of weeks to finish some things uh, there, and then we're going to move it there. I'm waiting, of course, of the for the uh, official sites, of course. This is just going to be a, a community site, but it, it will look great. It's a nice place to be, yes. Um, we are fine. We are we are very happy about the CoinNet thing. Uh, CoinX get back um, and RTM people can start using CoinX again, so we are fine, yes. Awesome stuff. Uh, Soka Game Dev is asking, Alejandro is Indian? No, oh. I, I look like Indian. <laughs> That's what so many people say. So, some of them call me Arab too. <laughs> looks like uh, from Turkey or somewhere like that. No, but I'm from Venezuela. Yes, Venezuela and Latin America. Yes. There's your answer, Soka. Uh, I sure. have a little bit of, um, I got to say, sorry, I interrupt real quick. I have a little bit of mic jealousy there. Um, with Alejandro's mic, I'm just saying. Yeah, the mic's a pretty impressive. Yeah, It's pretty nice. <laughs> did, did you like the no, the, the microphone? Or? Yeah, 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 better. Yeah, this is awesome. I have mine I'm wearing. It's like, uh, man, I'm, I'm jealous of, of your mic. It's, uh, well, it's man, good. this is uh, Fifini. It's very, it's very cheap. It's, it's very cheap price, but it works good. <laughs> I found it yeah. on YouTube, and then I buy it in a shop here, <laughs> in Amazon here in Brazil. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yes, it's fine. Didn't you buy a Samsung, Charlie? Yeah, I have it right here. Okay. Were you not using yeah. it? Yeah, it's right there. But uh, yeah, it's, I have problems with it. It doesn't uh, quite want to uh, work well. This little $10 headset I'm wearing right now seems to work better than the uh, that some Samsung for some reason. I don't know why. But... I need to help you out with that, mate. I need to help you out with that. I know your headset is working fine, but those are for selling windows. You, you, you got to phone people up to sell windows. You know what I mean? windows uh you know pvc windows yes. <laughs> yes. the call center call, call center, center mic yeah, exactly i'm thinking you're you're telling me i'm gonna sell like the windows operating system no nah, man i would not do that to anybody no. <laughs> uh sherm what's going on with the discord and the community oh, yeah, the community's doing well you know i'll keep it short so you can go to the smith but you know, everybody's doing well you know everybody's busy testing the assets and developing projects for when the assets hit mainnet Obviously, we touched on some of them today, you know, games, the web wallet, the marketplace, the shared nodes, and plus the shared nodes and stuff, which is exciting to see. You know, there's been a lot of buzz and talk around, around the space recently, you know, wondering what we're up to and trying to learn more about the project, which is really nice to see. You know, a lot of new faces in the Discord, and a lot of old faces coming back around too, to see what we're, see what we're doing. Um, one of the down th bad things recently is the idle rpg game i guess that bot died so i guess the de developers are working on that so that game isn't working unfortunately so it definitely Discord, it so. definitely wasn't something on our side then show no even though i blamed you for, for breaking it exactly <laughs> you you it wasn't you you were like you were like a drug addict without 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 the drugs yeah well i'm you know not I mean? the only one i'm not the only one i was getting a lot of flack from people trying to get me to fix it you know but I tried, couldn't fix it. It wasn't us. And then right, I just got the breeding. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the only other thing is you have to be careful to scammers. You know, obviously, the big, the big, big piggy going around. You know, if anybody's DMing you, know, definitely come to Discord and verify you're actually talking to the right person. You know, there's also people jumping on Reddit for curve airdrops, scam airdrops, and things like that as well. So, yeah, don't fall for any of that stuff and come check with us in the Discord if you see anything sketchy and let us know. Maybe, Piggy, if we agree now 
that when you DM someone, you'll start with a code word, right? And only people knowing, watching this stream now will know what that code word is. So yeah, if, but then the, the scammers will pick up on it eventually. And some yeah, I don't DM people, generally speaking. But also, I can verify the unique ID and the names. You know, a lot of them will be tricky. You put like a period at the end or add an extra syllable. So everything kind of looks the same, same icons, same looking or roles. The most blaringly obvious one is if you've talked to me in DMs before or to anybody from the team in DMs before, and then suddenly that history is gone. There's like some new then, message. Yeah. Yeah. No history. Then, it's, then it's some asshole. Okay. Uh, finally, Dirty Miner, what is going on in the world of shitcoins? Uh, we just covered the Casper shit. Uh, for Iron, there's like one more week for to vote for the new algo, or if there is going to be an algo change. And what are the choices? Uh, stay, stick on the current one. Uh, Low Miner Dev uh, came up with one. Uh, basically like... Uh, like a Blake 3 variant, but it's memory uh, hardened, I guess. Um, so it's like, it's just to try to make FPGAs and A6 more, or if there was any A6, uh, less efficient. Just take away some advantages there. Uh, try to keep it with GPUs for now, for the health of the coin. Well, he knows exactly what he's doing and is one of the very smart people in the space so i would take anything from him they're fucking stupid if they don't yeah there's some uh rigging going on i guess there's like a bunch of uh votes trying to stick on um uh, voting for sticking to the current algo out of nowhere so but the team's people, looking at people at the fpgas <laughs> trying to yeah. elaborate the vote basically <laughs> probably yeah that's what it seems like so they're uh, they're validating some things. Make sure it's not just one person or like two people or whatever. Try to keep it fair. Uh, that's about it. Okay, fantastic. So we're just gonna go quickly over the YouTube comments. Uh, we got Remy Gigas, Remy Gigas, sorry, saying, guys, you forgot to announce Coinex. Coinex is back. No, we didn't. Uh, I I blared that out before it was actually up on their official site. Uh, we've got Foodwiser saying that he's going to get Gigatoshi tomorrow. That'll be good. Uh, uh, Delgon is saying, sad old wallets do not work. So many problems now. I assume he's re got re uh, in regards to CoinX. Um, yeah, but I mean... That's Delgon, that's not really your problem. It's on the users to fucking change it. Um they can get the transaction record from the pool, then it's their bloody problem to mail support and say, Hey, could you please credit? Are we we're talking about people that were mining to ex in exchange in the first place. Yeah, I think no now. Well, you shouldn't be mining. Um, Coinex are fine with it, but I mean, um, you, you're kind of asking to lose coins when you do stupid shit like this. I mean, just because the exchange actually allows it without penalizing you doesn't mean you should be doing it. Miners stop yeah. mining to exchange. Mine to your own wallet. That's it. Because then you know where your funds are supposed to be going. Well, that's yeah. it. And you, I mean, you have it, control. It uh remy gidges is saying problem with coinex is they ban uk users uh well it they haven't banned uk users that was a temporary thing for a few i think it was under 24 hours it was just while they sorted out their while advertising they, uh, to uk yeah because of the fca yeah, yeah. uh He's also saying, Charlie, we, we're missing shooting videos. 
I, I did hear rumors about some new videos coming soon. Yeah. Yeah, it's in it's in progress. It's coming. I'm hoping this week. Bunny suits, bikinis. No bunny suit though. No, no boom, bunny boom. suits. It's honey, <laughs> hunting season. Bunny hunting season. At the bunny suit right now, where I am at, and uh, the situation. Uh, if I wear the bunny suit here, where I am, and I go shooting, I'm probably gonna get shot myself. So let's just avoid that. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I'll go make a video and do some shooting and some talking and have some fun, but the, probably the bunny suit thing is not going to happen yet. I'm going to do it because I said I was going to do it. That's it. I'm going to do it no matter what. But uh, it needs to be the right time and the right place to avoid myself getting shot. So. <laughs> we are going to have exploding targets though, right? We are going to have exploding targets. Whether or not I can hit them, I'm not promising anything. <laughs> but they will be there. You it bet. says something about the amount of booze involved in Canadian hunting if they can't tell the difference between a moose and a six foot tall bunny. But yeah. Yeah, it's a scary Shoot place. first, ask questions later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean, you know, I, I could be walking to the spot and I'm in my bunny suit and I fall down, you know, the sand bank and all of a sudden I'm not white anymore. I'm brown and I look like a big brown thing with big ears. I like a moose. And hey, hey, hey. Wasn't that part of the promise about something about the color of the bunny suit? I'm not sure. Uh, it was supposed to be I, pink, I just, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I oh, distinctly it's, it's, remember something about pink. Yeah. yeah well, it's, it's white and pink. I mean, I have a... I have a a gif floating around on uh, oh it's around Discord. i still i still have pictures of it i got screenshots <laughs> it's the same bunny suit i mean it's still white and pink what i'm saying is the danger comes in is if i'm in that bunny suit and i'm in my promised colors and i fall down the sand bank and i become brown and then all of a sudden i look like a moose and a drunken canadian hunter says hey look at that brown thing with big ears kaboom you know yeah, it's yeah, a real risk because yeah you got to be careful yeah man. yeah so, True. All right, we've got uh, we we're going over to the stream party chat now. We've got Homegrown saying Komodo, while it is a good move, makes RTM custody more accessible to tech to less tech savvy folks. And uh, Coinex did well, handled things great. Mine and none of my friends' assets were lost. And they got nice decks in the wallet as well. Yeah, the Komodo guys have been amazing. They're they're a good team. Uh, yeah peeps foodwise is saying so, uh my rtm mining yield is going up a little anyone else uh, why would you put that no, out there no there, comment there, there, now it's gonna go down now <laughs> yeah, not for long now <laughs> mate <laughs> uh homegrown saying in the bear market more and more miners stop mining for a plethora of reasons um uh, anything else all right well i think uh crypto smith is getting a little twitchy at the moment because we are running a little bit late so we're going to probably start with the crypto smith stream i am so sorry crypto smith uh we'll start with that stream at 25 past the hour um uh, but for now uh it's been a great weekly stream uh I've enjoyed it. Make sure to stick with us for the Crypto Smith stream. Make sure to follow us at uh, X and at Threads and at Instagram. That's at Raptorium. Please stick a like on this YouTube video and make sure to follow the channel as well for to keep to be kept up to date with any more videos and things that we do put out. We have got Hunter on the case as well, which is doing a lot of shorts uh, for those of you which only catch us in the daytime. Uh, so big thanks to Hunter and uh, big thanks to everyone on this uh stream right now for for coming on once again and sure we seem to have lost your camera uh did next door's dog get it uh but anyway uh stick with back. us <laughs> are you back are you yeah stick stick, stick with us for the crypto smith stream we're just going to go into the interlude now and uh yeah back next week for another raptorium update stream cheers guys yep thanks guys catch you later